One of us here has a nasty skin infection. I'm gonna show you a natural remedy which is working so much better than cortisone. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. So one of us here, myself, or the poodle, ouch, has a little skin thing going on. Itchy, red, steroids aren't working. This natural remedy is. Now, who is it? The poodle, otherwise known as Tula, as you guys can see. It's been pretty healthy lately. It's not her. So one day I was working on the computer and I leaned back. I'm like, ah, my back feels itchy. My lower back is like, oh, so dang itchy. I don't want to scare any of you guys in the audience, but off to my shirt. Ah, back here? Oh man, is it ever itchy poop? This hole on my back, especially right there. I'm hoping you guys can see it. Down there, up in there. Just all red and itchy. I don't know exactly what it is, what's going on, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I just know that it was red, itchy, waking me up, keeping me awake, I'm like, holy cow. First, if you have an allergy, I sympathize. Secondly, I have a little bit more empathy with our dogs that have these like ongoing allergies they just can't deal with. It is like crazy making. It's not that it's painful, I'm like, oh, but it's just so constant and irritating and it's just, just so hard to get your mind off of it. You just want to like ugh, scratch or lick or whatever if you're a dog. Scratch because I'm a person. So the first thing I grabbed was the sweet almond oil. Like for many of the skin conditions, it's just a matter of rehydrating it, you know, allowing your body's own immune system to do its magic thing, decrease the inflammation. Also has additional vitamin E. I'm like, boom. Simple, natural, nothing really to it. So on with the sweet almond oil. It's kind of liquidy, right? Just goes everywhere. Ah. Slap down on my back. A little bit of relief, but oh man. man. Maybe that would last an hour and then it's like back itchy again. And if anything, this weird red lesion-y thing is sort of spreading outwards. Okay. It's not working. So I'm like, okay, like fine. You know, I was at the point like, just give me some like itch relief. I'm like, I don't care. I'm going with the steroids. I did go to the pharmacy and I did pick up this, the 1% cortisone cream. That's gonna work, right? You just gotta suppress that inflammation, right? But ha ha, two or three days of this thing, it's not really any better. I'm still waking up itchy. I'm like, what the, what's going on? I'm like, Dula, what should I do? I'm like that, the almond oil's not working. The steroid cream, like the, oh, the magic steroid's not working. Like, what should I do? Oh, yes. Just lick it, you'll lick it all better. The magic dog cure. Mm. Home remedies in your tongue. Okay, yes, Tula, oh. So I don't know what it is for sure. I don't know exactly what's going on. Maybe it's an allergic reaction. Maybe it's a secondary fungal bacterial infection. I don't know. I just know there's a whole lot of inflammation. So I'm thinking like, hmm, what natural remedy do I discuss that could be anti-inflammatory, you know, kind of like the natural cortisone. Also something that's antibacterial, antifungal. I'm like, oh, maybe Tula, I should practice what I preach. Rise up the natural, I know potentially has a really good chance of helping me. Part of the reason I'm reluctant to head off to the physician's office was just knowing that they're gonna look at it, say, oh, it's some type of allergy and just prescribe some stronger steroid. I'm like, well, I can do that. The big point of today's video is I actually made up my own little cream concoction, worked awesome. It's worked so much better than the cortisone. So I'm like, okay, why didn't do it sooner? I don't know, but potentially really beneficial for your, your dogs. They've got any kind of secondary allergies, all this red and flame skin, potentially even for yourself.
Our natural anti-inflammatory homemade cream recipe includes two tablespoons of this. Uh, it's coconut oil. So our natural home remedy includes two tablespoons of this organic coconut oil. We're gonna scoop up two tablespoons. It is anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal. Also edible. Tula really likes it, hence she's up here. She gets to have some of that. Okay, Tula. Two for our little demonstration and mm, some for you. Yum. Next, I have this licorice root tincture. Licorice is seen as sort of the, considered the natural steroid. And it works really well topically, especially in conjunction with coconut oil. So I'm adding in two mils, which is about two dropperfuls right here. It's my little cream concoction. There's one, there's our second one, Tula. So that's about two mils of the licorice root tincture. One of the big benefits of the licorice is that it can work pretty immediate, giving uh, your dog some pretty immediate anti-inflammatory, anti-itch relief. And that's so what I was needing. I'm like, I just, <clears throat> just stop it from itching it now. And then the last thing I added was something that is also antibacterial, antifungal, kind of seen as one of those universal essential oils, really important for skin disease. That's tea tree oil. So this is tea tree picked up from the co-op and I added into my concoction 10 drops. So that made about, by adding 10 drops to two tablespoons of coconut oil with the licorice, this is making about a 2% um, essential oil dilution and that's safe to apply topically uh, to yourself as well as to local areas or onto your dog although we still don't want them licking it off excessively so then we're just gonna mix this up really well so I mix this concoction up pretty well you can see it's got kind of this funky yellowish tinge to it. That's a combination of the tea tree oil along with the licorice root tincture. Time for the application. I've yet to treat myself with anything this morning, part because I want to do the video first and then like, okay, show you how easy it is to put on and how instantly better I feel. Okay, now for more skin, cover your eyes for those of you at home. On it goes, oh, honestly, like instantly. As soon as I put it on, I'm like instantly there's like instant disrelief. Partly that coconut is cool, but also I, I can't believe how fast it works. Literally within five minutes of me putting that on, I'm like, oh, I actually started it about two days ago. I can't believe it took me that long. And you know, I woke up that first morning, finally, you know, not wanting to get out of bed, waking up itchy work that quickly. Ha! Ah, already that feels better. Okay, so you probably should have made the video sooner. Regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. Tula, what do you think? Uh, it's all done, yes.